Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the topic on constructors. What is a constructor? A constructor is a special member function whose main operation is to initialize the object whenever it has been created. The difference between a member function and a constructor is the constructor has the same name. It has the same name as its class has and also it automatically executes when an object is created. That means there is no need of calling a constructor explicitly. As we said constructor is a member function it will not have a return type also. Now we'll just look at the syntax or prototype of a constructor. Generally a constructor what we said has the same name of a class name that is see here in this example you have class name as it's a class so we are calling a constructor with the same name class name so in this class this class name is a member function and also it is called a special member function because its name is same as class name so that's why this is called as uh, the syntax or the prototype of a constructor so as we didn't define it inside the class see the class open here and close here we didn't define it we have to define outside the class so as we know already the class the function name or the functions to define outside the class we write we have the syntax as written type class name and scope resolution operator function name as the constructor will not have a written type so that's why there is no written type here so it has a class name scope resolution operator and as a constructor has the name of a class name that's why it has a class name so we define like this so basically constructors are of three types one is default constructor next is parameterized constructor next is copy constructor so now what we do is we discuss what is a default constructor a constructor which does not take any arguments is called as default constructors the arguments are in which we write within the braces check here this is where we write arguments so as we know a class name and a constructor has same name so this is our default constructor where we don't have arguments and see here we defined it inside the class so there is no need of again declaring outside the class see class so we declared inside it so this type of constructor is called as default constructor where it is not taking any arguments next type of constructor is parameterized constructor the parameterized constructor has arguments in it that is for example check here so class name so data so this is where we write arguments so we are providing data here within the parenthesis so when a constructor has data or arguments within the parenthesis then we call this type of constructor as parameterized constructor so the definition is constructor with arguments are called parameterized constructor again see in this syntax we just declared this constructor inside the class as we declared inside so we have to define it outside see here the class has been closed so to declare it as outside again we have the syntax as written type class name scope resolution operator and function name as the function here is class name and a constructor will not have a written type so there is no written type so class name is the class name scope resolution operator and class name here is the constructor and the data we write the code inside it and there is no semicolon here no semicolon here right this is parameterized constructor coming to the copy constructor 
constructor having a reference to an object as an argument is known as copy constructor in the previous type what we said is it will have arguments in it right so when it has arguments we are saying it as a parameterized constructor if the argument is the reference so we call this as reference if it is a reference of an object then we say this type of constructor as copy constructor that is a copy constructor will have reference to an object simply we can say that this copy constructor will copy the other objects values so for example <coughs> we write like this test t1 so t1 is an object and next test t2 so t2 and what is the argument here we are writing is t1 t1 is what t1 is the object of test class so a con a, an object again having an argument as an object so this calls this copy constructor here right so this is about copy constructor so in general we have three types of constructors one is default constructor parameterized constructor copy constructor now we will demonstrate these all types of constructors by taking a program so this program is to display and also to calculate the area of a rectangle right so as we know a class has three access specifiers public private and protected so but here we are taking only two access specifiers that is private and as well as public and make sure that you always write your constructors in public mode right so now in this example i'm taking a rectangle class and in rectangle class there are two data members length and breadth right so in the public mode i'm writing this rectangle see this is a function but we call this as a special member function because it has the name of a class so and we call them as constructors so now we have to check whether this is what type of constructor is so if it has any arguments in it then we call it as or parameterized constructor but here we do not have any arguments so we say this as default constructor a default constructor will not have any arguments right so this the purpose of constructor is to what to initialize the data members of a class to initialize the data members of a class so now here we are initializing length and breadth to zero so this is what this is a default constructor now coming to the next function this is rectangle again so this is same as the class name so again we call this as constructor now we have to know that what type of constructor it is so we have to check its arguments or do we have any arguments or not we have arguments here so is this becomes a parameterized constructor because we have parameters so how many parameters we have here two parameters so we call this as a parameterized constructor we will write or we have to give the values explicitly to l and b and we will we will assign those values to the data members length and breadth so we have written in inside the constructor as length is equal to l breadth is equal to b right so this is the parameterized constructor now coming to the third function what is the third function we have here rectangle and inside we have rectangle ampersand r1 so this is the reference to a another object so what is the, what we have here see rectangle rectangle is a class and r1 is an object so this is a parameter again we say this as a parameter but this parameter is of what type it is an object type and it is referring to an another object so a constructor which is having argument as an object which is a reference object then we call that type of constructor as what copy constructor so what we do is we will acts assign the values which are there in r1 to the length and breadth so we write like length is equal to r1 dot length and breadth is equal to r1 dot breadth so this is parameterized constructor so we have all declared them in public mode right so and also we have to again discuss 
means we need to know the area also so to find the area we are going for the void area function so this is also a member function but we can't call this as a constructor because it has no class class its name is not class name and it is having a return type so we call this as a member function okay send so, c out here i am calculating area area is length into breadth okay length into breadth and this is calculation for calculation purpose and next this is for displaying purpose this is also another member function in class rectangle so here i am displaying length breadth and also the display function is also calling area function in it so what is what we are doing here is display is also a member function area is also a member function a member function calling another member function is called nested member function so whenever it calls this area so it goes back to the area and calls area is equal to length into breadth so here we finished our class so we need to now what we have to do is we have to create an object and call them so int main here the first line rectangle r1 so r1 is now object so now what you what it does is it will directly calls your default constructor this is what this is the default constructor so r1 calls what r1 calls default constructor so when you write the program don't write this but to uh, for your uh, understanding purpose i am writing here this calls what this calls here default constructor now coming to the rectangle r2 10 comma 20 so see this is an object so we are writing the arguments here we call them generally as actual parameters i am writing the parameters now it checks whether there is a there is a constructor which is having two parameters right this is two parameters so that's why what is what this particular line will call this calls parameterized constructor this calls what that calls parameterized constructor and rectangle r3 r2 so what is r2 r2 is an object so this is also an object calling another object that means it want to copy whatever the values which are there in r2 to r3 so this calls what this calls copy constructor right so now we need, we have r1 which is taking 0 and 0 r2 which is taking ln b that is 10 20 and r3 also referring to the r that is copying r2 so in r3 also what you will have you will have 10 9 20 so when you call r1 dot display when you write r1 dot display it calls the display function and writes length is equal to so as it is a default constructor it will write length is equal to 0 breadth is equal to 0 and next it calls area again it comes back to here area is equal to as we said length into breadth 0 into 0 is what 0 so it displays what it displays 0 so it displays length is equal to 0 breadth is equal to 0 area is equal to 0 next coming to r2 dot display so r2 called the parameterized constructor where length is 10 and breadth is also 10 so when it called display it will go to the display function and display length as 10 breadth as 10 and it calls area function so it goes back to the area function here you have area is equal to length into breadth that is 10 into 20 so you'll get answer as 200 so at last the output of this is what this is length is equal to 10 breadth is equal to 20 area is equal to 200 now coming to r3 dot display as r3 is a copy constructor which is copying the object r2 so it will also have 10 and 20 as a values of length and breadth respectively so when it called display it will it will display length as again 10 breadth as 20 and again area is what area is equal to 10 into 20 that is area is equal to 200 so it will also display length as 10 breadth as 20 and area is equal to 200 so this is all about the constructors thank you